All right, so I previously uh, have gone over some of the basic features of the ULB28, but today I'm going to focus on the cruise feature, which is a new feature. Um, this will apply to the ULB48, 38, and 18 as well, because they all program pretty much the same. <clears throat> In order to set up this feature, you're going to access this little panel here, which has some dip switches and push buttons inside of it. You're going to flip the center dip switch, which is labeled HL, and you flip it towards the top here. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to take your green with red wire, which is typically your pattern select wire, and that's going to repurpose that um, to be either high-low select or cruise enable. Um, so we're actually going to do this after you've selected your patterns and don't need that feature anymore. So if I turn on my power to the red with green wire, um, it's going to turn on all of my heads here in a steady burn, low power mode. Um, it happens to be for the colors that were selected for this bar, um, white, but this is a dual color bar, so you can change which color um, is in the cruise mode. In order to do that, I am going to take my head enable button here, and I'm going to first make sure that I'm programming the white and not programming the blue. So to do that, I'm going to hold on my head enable until it flashes once. Okay, flashed once, so now I'm programming the white. The second thing I'm going to do is have it hold it down until it flashes three times, and then it'll turn off all of my white heads. So you could program this to have some blue and some white, or whatever colors you have. <clears throat> as your cruise mode. Okay, so I've turned off my white, and so that's not doing anything because white blue was already off, and now white is off. So in order to program blue, I'm going to hold down my head enable button until it flashes twice. Okay, so it's programmed uh, all the blue ones to be in cruise mode. So you don't have to have all of them on. You can select any number of heads you want. Um, just like the other features in this bar, if you hit the head enable button um, and just cycle through, it's going to cycle through a bunch of different options for what heads you want to be turned on. Okay, so I've cycled through and I've got uh, the two outer heads lit in cruise mode. So if I go and power up a, another function, say a flashing function, um, you can see that the cruise is overridden by the, the flashing function. So if I take off my um, flashing function again, cruise turns on again. If I wanted my cruise to override my flashing function, um, all I have to do is take my little push here and hit my head phase button um, until it flashes twice. So now that selects high priority mode. Um, so if I go in here and enable another function, you can see that the heads that have cruise on them are overriding the flashing function, whereas the heads that do not have cruise on them are continuing to flash. Um, if I wanted to go back to my low priority mode, very similar procedure. I'm going to take my first. I got to make sure that I'm only programming my um, cruise function by only powering that wire, and then I'm going to take my head phase button and hold it till it flashes once. Okay, So now I'm back into low priority mode. If I power up um, any of these flashing functions, it's going to override it. Um, if for some reason I wanted to use dim, which is the previous feature, um, as my um, pattern select wire, previously pattern select wire, um, <clears throat> I just tap the heads, head, pa yeah, head phase button one time. Um, and it will get out of cruise mode 